when something new is invented, frequently our existing laws and even our existing terms don't map clearly onto the new reality. It's a wild standard that they're advancing here. We've been begging them to give us any kind of guidance. We're making up our own rules, like guessing, you know, and being like, well, can you do this? And you know, they won't even answer. They went after Ripple and, but you know, Ripple has like a hundred banking partners, you know, like they're way more embedded into the financial system than library is. Right. So, um, but like, why isn't, why aren't they going after bat or something? Right. Like I would imagine bat corporate was holding bat coins and has sold some of those along the way. I mean, that to me is basically what they're saying is, Hey, you had LBC coins and you sold some of those and um that's bad <laughs> that is that is the uh, uh, essentially the uh, the the gist of the complaint it's it's a wild standard that they're advancing here and i i mean my opinion is that all of this should be legal um that people should be free to exchange what they want to exchange if the sec is going to be bringing these enforcements they need to provide at a minimum i mean i think they should just let it all be legal but uh, just provide clear rules of the road or something. I mean, the case, you're correct. The case only became public a couple of weeks ago. We've been facing it for three years. We've been begging them uh, We've been to give us any kind of guidance. We're making up our own rules, like guessing, you know, and being like, well, can you do this? And you know, they won't even answer. Uh, they won't answer you. And, you know, it's not like we haven't been getting legal consultation. So we have some of the best lawyers in the space. We're following the rules that they said we're supposed to follow. Um, and then this action comes down against us um, out of no, uh, like, well, not out of nowhere in the sense that the case was open, but like, it seemed like it might be going away that they might have realized that it was a mistake. And then, uh, and then they choose to, to sort of bring this action. And it's, uh, it, was, it, it is surprising to me that they're going after us. I think if you go down the list of, of sort of top cryptocurrencies by market cap, you're going to say that under the standard here, you're just going to be like, all right, well, that one's a security, that one's a security, that one's a security. The, the standard being advanced here is really aggressive. Now, let's dig into that. What is that standard? And so I just did two Googles, right? One Google says, Wait, what is the definition of a security? So what I've got up here is a security is a financial instrument, typically any financial asset that can be traded. Okay, interesting. Tell me more, Google. In the United States, the term broadly covers all traded financial assets and breaks such assets down to three primary categories, equity securities, debt securities, and derivatives, which includes options and futures. So if you own a, a credit of LBC, uh, if you own an LBC coin, do you own, is that coin linked in any way to ownership into library inc your your actual business entity in absolutely no way um, what that token lets you do is it lets you interact on a decentralized network that's not owned or controlled by my company so then i googled <laughs> what is the definition of a currency <laughs> and currency is a medium of exchange for goods and services in short it's money in the form of paper or coins or digital or, or digital virtual currencies such as bitcoins, it's actually in the thing, investopedia.com, have no physical existence or government backing and are traded and stored in electronic form. So isn't this just a currency that you happen to own some of that currency and, and the currency will naturally appreciate? Just like if, if the U.S. economy does well, then the U.S. currency also should appreciate in value, right? Like if library and Odyssey and like more of the Bitcoins are being used in the function of your business, then naturally shouldn't that kind of appreciate the value of the coin? And like, isn't that a currency? I think that what you're saying is, is, is possibly true. Uh, I think there's an additional element in this case, which is that uh, your Bitcoin was designed to be money. Library is a token that is designed to let you perform actions on this network. And by the nature of being a freely traded good, it has a price. Um, I think, and I'm not, I want to be careful not to make nothing what I'm saying is like my company's specific legal position or even my specific position. I'm just kind of entertaining ideas here. 
Um, I think you one could possibly argue that it's also a commodity um, because it's something that lets that's useful to do something that's freely traded and has a price. I think what we're dealing with from a sort of uh, philosophical um, perspective is the fact that when something new is invented, frequently our existing laws and even our existing terms don't map clearly onto the new reality. And so we have this new thing that maybe does have a little bit of properties of this previous existing thing and then another bit and then some properties of this other thing and some properties of this other thing and then we're taking or and, and some new properties that never existed before and then we're taking a 100 year old law that was in no way written to cover this kind of scenario and attempting to you know uh, uh, basically uh, create legislation uh, through uh, enforcement actions rather than Congress or the government getting their act together and, you know, actually creating a, a, a clear law. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble and text us 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.